Number 9 Kelvin Road, the scene of a crime of appalling brutality. It was here that 34-year-old Mandy Power, her young daughters Katie and Emily, and elderly mother Doris Dawson were beaten to death. I'm Professor Mike Berry. I'm a consultant clinical forensic psychologist, and I'm based at Birmingham City University. What I start off doing is looking at people who are not likely to have committed the murder. It's not a serial killer, there's no spree killers killing at later dates or early dates, there's no joy killers or anything of that nature. It's not a cult, not religious. I exclude strangers straight away because of the locality and everything else. It's not going to attract a random killer. This is somebody known to the family and local. I think it's somebody in their 30s, maybe slightly older. It's somebody who knows the house, is known to Mandy, and probably does, and the children as well. They feel comfortable in the house, they've been there before, they're comfortable. They're also comfortable with having bodies around them, because most people don't like seeing dead bodies. I don't see the person having planned to kill, I see the person responding to a situation where they got increasingly angry. It's very personal to Mandy. And the reason for that would be aggression of some sort, frustration, disappointment with her maybe. The attack on Mandy shows that she was the target. The girls, I think, to use that awful expression, collateral, or uh, killed because they would have been witnesses to something like that. The killer set fires, but I don't think the killer set fires for the obvious reason of trying to get rid of evidence, because there was a lot of evidence around the, the house. Without any doubt, the, the, the killer has purposely, intentionally, gone to destroy images of the family. Uh, the images of the family in the sense of trying to set fire to Doris upstairs, burning the pictures of the two girls. They were making statements. The killer made a statement about Doris made a statement about burning the, the, the two pictures. And it's to kind of wipe out the whole family. So we wipe them out, we burn the house down, everything else. Kind of wipe this person off the face of the earth almost. I would expect the person to be deeply traumatized by, by what they've done. I would expect that trauma to, to be uh, obvious post-incidents. So they'd be getting nightmares, losing control, having more arguments with people. So they were vicious killings. 